Yesterday, Apex released some gameplay from the dev build of Apex Legends, which features all the changes coming in Season 20. But in this gameplay, we actually also got to see a glimpse of the next legend coming to Apex, very likely in Season 21. Now, you can see their legend icon right here, but there's actually a lot more that we can see because Game Informer released a video, and you can actually see the new legend, we can see the new legend's name, and we can actually see one of their abilities in action in the gameplay. So, let's dig deeper. Starting off, of course, with the icon of the legend that we can see in full detail. I mean, the Apex devs are just teasing us here, but this legend looks absolutely crazy, let me tell you that. Now, I don't know if this will be their final model. The style looks completely different to all the other legend icons, so this could very well just be concept art, but I mean, if they're gonna look anything like this, they're gonna be a pretty interesting character, I can tell that for sure. But moving on to the actual footage where we can see them in action, we actually get to find out what their code name is. Now at first I thought their code name must be Cave because we have had leaks that Cave is the next legend coming to Apex. We had a playtester tell us that Cave had an ability where they could pass through walls and other leakers did say that Cave was coming next. But in this gameplay game and former release you can see a legend named Alter. Now this is the legend name because in all the test gameplay all of the in-game notifications said the legend name. So this legend is codenamed Alter in the dev build. Now that code name has never been heard before based on all the leaks we have. But if we look even closer, we can see the legend Alter. This is the first of many images I'm going to show you. You can see this legend right here is Alter. It's still a very blurry image and we can't get much detail from it, but I thought it was awesome that we can actually see them in action. If we move over, you can see another glimpse of them here. Again, you can see them here. I mean, this silhouette is still really blurry. And again, you can see them slightly crouched there as well. That is definitely Alter, the leaked legend. But in terms of their abilities, if you slow the video down, you can actually see one of their abilities in action. So let's work together here and see if we can figure out what on earth is going on. So right here, you can see this blue beam pass the person's screen. It kind of looks like a wraith in phase or an ash portal, but if you take a look at where it lands, you can see a giant green beacon come out of the sky, and then you can see this ring that's appeared. This was not there before, this metal ring. Here's another angle of that metal ring. And if we look at the path that the phase sort of portal seems to take, it looks like it goes up and over that building over there. Now, I think I figured out exactly what this altar ability is doing, so let me talk you through it. So, Loba and Alter go behind these blue containers. Then, Loba gets downed by this guy's teammate, and at this point, Alter pops her ultimate, which seems to create a rewind portal. Basically, it opens up a portal right where she's standing, and the portal leads to where Alter was a few seconds ago. At this point, Loba, who's been knocked, takes the altar portal, and that's where you can see the teleportation beam fly across the screen. At this point, altar hasn't taken the portal because we can see altar down here. Then this second green beacon of light pops up, and that could potentially be Loba coming out the other end, or something to do with the other side of the portal, and then the player turns around and they shoot altar. So I think we just saw altar's ability. You can see her metal portal there. Of course, this is the dev build of the game, so they're probably just using acid assets they already have. These won't be the final assets, but I think this could very well be Alter's ability where she can create a rewind portal that her and her team can use. But if you thought that's all we had to show, we can actually see another Alter ability in action. You can see this alert pop up on the player's screen right here. It says seen from the void. Now at first, I thought this was to do with Wraith's new perk, where if an enemy looks at her, she'll actually get notified of their location. But this player doesn't look at a Wraith, and also, there aren't any wraiths in this lobby. There's only two squads left, and we know there's only a conduit, loba, and an altar on the enemy team. So altar will also have some kind of ability that will be able to detect players from the void. This could be some kind of passive. We know that altar's a skirmisher legend, so I wouldn't think this was a crazy sort of recon passive, but at this point in the game where they are seen from the void, altar is standing directly behind this player. So they must have had line of sight of them as well to be able to do whatever they did and cast their ability. Now, as for what this ability is, honestly, I couldn't tell you. I really don't know. Maybe something to do with seeing players through walls or objects within a certain radius around her, or something crazy like that, but that is another one of Alter's abilities in action from their opponent's perspective. So we've already gotten to see two of Alter's abilities in this tiny bit of test gameplay. Honestly, I never thought we'd have been blessed with this 
much developer footage. And boy, has it paid off. Now, Alter is most likely coming to the game in Season 21, and because of this, they'll very likely tie into the game's lore. We actually have a quote from the narrative director, Ashley Reed, who told GameSpot, we are tying more of our gameplay features coming this year even more closely to the story, and it is meant to be like a full year-long experience, and Horizon, maybe, possibly, is the cornerstone of it. So they're going to be tying the new Apex lore into the gameplay features a lot more, meaning new legends will very likely tie in to this lore. Now, if you didn't know, the lore in Season 20 is going to be heavily themed around time travel, as we got this teaser at the end of the Season 20 launch trailer, which shows Horizon looking at a time gauntlet, and you can hear her son's voice in the background. You promise. So the lore is going to be heavily time travel related with Horizon trying to get back to her son. And this new legend altar that we've seen gameplay of looks to have some kind of potential time travel phase tech. And it does kind of look like she's wearing a gauntlet. Now stay with me here because I think altar could actually be Subject Zero. If you don't know who Subject Zero is, in the season 13 quest line of Apex, we got a story where Wraith came across a mysterious character who wore a gauntlet on their wrist. She had a burn scar on her left shoulder, and she seems very similar to Wraith. And she even knows Wraith's real name, Dr. Blacey, and Wraith then finds a folder that's branded with the Ares Division logo. She opens it and sees a photo of the scarred mercenary, the woman with the gauntlet, and there's a sign in her hands that says Subject Zero. And it turns out Dr. Blacey was actually the doctor working on Subject Zero before Dr. Blacey, of course, got turned into Wraith. So, so this mysterious Subject Zero character who has similar abilities to Wraith, where she can phase, she has a gauntlet, and she was produced in the same lab, could definitely be Alter. I mean, look at Alter. She gives off Wraith vibes. She kind of has similar stances. She kind of looks similar to Wraith in the images we can see. And I think this legend could very well be Subject Zero, who gets brought up in the lore when they start messing with more time travel. So there you go. That's everything I have to give you about the new legend. Obviously a lot of theories, but putting together as many facts as we can. Let me know all your opinions in the comments. This might have been quite a lot to process, so leave any questions if you have them below. Leave your theories, and I can't wait to read the comments on this video, because we've just seen gameplay of the new legend, and we've even seen two of her abilities. And I don't know if the devs did leave the icon for Alter in their gameplay video on purpose to tease us, or if this truly was an accident. Either way, this makes me more excited for season 21 but first we've got to tackle on season 20 where the horizon law will start and we'll see if it does seem like it's leading towards a new time traveling subject zero legend named alter damn now i'm really excited for season 21